afternoon. It's definitely like 12.30. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas for 2020. As you can see, we already have the tree up, so I will insert some footage here in a minute about that, but I just wanted to come and say hello. It is Sunday the 29th. We're starting Sunday to Saturday, and then I'll be posting weekly Vlogmas vlogs on Sundays. So for the next four Sundays, you guys will see an additional video from me. And it'll just be vlogs. I don't know how much nail stuff will be in them, so if that's not your thing, my other three regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos will be all nail things and all nail related. But I'm gonna insert footage from putting up our Christmas tree and all of our decor and everything, and some footage from us doing Babes Give Miss. We started doing Babes Give Miss every Saturday after Thanksgiving, which is when we cook for ourselves because we don't really get to see each other on Thanksgiving, and then we put up all of our decor. So I will insert that footage right now.
timing. It is December 1st. Sir, can you stop it? It is officially Vlogmas. Those other clips that you saw were from November, but we are officially in Vlogmas. As you saw this morning, I went to the store. I usually go every other Friday, but this past Friday was Black Friday and I was not messing with that. So I went to the store, I did the quickest workout ever. I canceled my gym membership because I don't wanna be out in all the mess and I haven't been going pretty much all year. So I stopped paying for that, but I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to do some workouts at home and like get into the habit while we're doing vlogmas so that one, I can be a little bit more accountable and two, I can do some kind of workout something. But then I took a shower and now it is time to work and I don't know what else we're gonna get into today. Today's, today is like not a lot going on, but this week is gonna be kind of busy. I have a lot of packages coming. There's stuff for presents and Christmas and there's business stuff coming like for my little t-shirt business thing. I'll show you guys all that later. But yes, I'm gonna head to work and I will probably see you around lunch. We have a lot of advent calendars to open since it's the first, I'm so excited. But yes, I will see you in a few hours. This is my first advent calendar. I got this from, I think Michael's. So these are just chocolates and boyfriend doesn't really like them, but I love getting these. So I get a little chocolate every day. I'm trying to find the one all the way down here a little and these are not like delicious chocolates they're like literally just base milk chocolates they're nothing special hold on but this first one is just the cutest little reindeer okay so that one's done this one we actually have to wait for boyfriend. I got this. Let me eat my chocolate. Okay. This one I got at Joann's. And I just thought it was so cute. And it was like a really neutral color. Obviously, we don't have littles or anything. So, we don't have a bunch of little toys or anything that we can put in here. But I took the odd numbers and boyfriend took the even numbers. And we did a mix of like candy and then little notes or like buy dinner, get you coffee. So we put a bunch of things in there. So we'll wait for him on this one. But we're gonna go upstairs because the one, hello, the one I'm really excited about is upstairs. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. This is the one that I'm super excited about. I'm going to insert me opening this on Instagram because I want to open it over there for anybody that wants to see. But let's see what's in here. Okay, it is later and it is lunchtime. I'm going to make... Let me show you this. I have multiple bags. I'm going to make this frozen Trader Joe's fettuccine Alfredo. I might need another bag actually. But it's really good... You just have to cook it correctly, and sometimes I don't cook it correctly. Let me see if I can set you guys. There. So, it comes in, like, these little nests. It comes, like, this in these little nests. And then these little pats are the sauce. So, you just have to cook it correctly, and sometimes I don't cook it wonderfully but it is really good the flavor is good i just add a little salt and pepper so here it is i do four nests and i feel like that's really good and a little sauce packet and then you just put a little bit of water in here and you kind of let them steam and then you'll turn the pasta over really you're just heating everything up and then melting you can read it Hi. it's just something quick it's not lovey it's for today oh it's for today yeah so I did the odd numbers. This is the first. Pick a movie date night. It's date night. Tonight? Yeah, we're going to watch a movie when I get off work. Okay. Is that fun? That's fun. Pick whatever movie you want. Alright. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. It is like almost one o'clock. I could not get up this morning 
and on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I work an hour earlier for overtime, so I had to work earlier, and I couldn't get up, so I got nothing done this morning, um, but we have stuff just everywhere in my room, so I'm on a break right now, and I'm going to try to clean up as much as I can, I also need to get laundry put in, because we do laundry every Wednesday, so... I need to clean up some things, work on some things, and hopefully get my life together for this week. This is not new technology or anything, but I put on my Christmas list to the boyfriend that I wanted some of those plugs that you can control like from your phone or something like that because we don't have the whole Alexa. We don't do like iPhones and all of that. So we don't have that whole system. And I really didn't want to buy that whole system. And so we found these plugs. It was like a four pack for $25 and you can label them and time them and set them on timers. You can control everything from your phone. So this is our living room light and every day when it gets dark, specifically in the winter at four o'clock, I have to get up and turn on lights so that I can continue working. But I have this lovely light set to come on in about 30 seconds. So I just wanted to show you guys how adorable it is when the light comes on all by itself. It's so stupid, but I can't help it because I don't have to get up and do it. And again, I know that's lazy, but I get up for so many other things that turning on the light when I've just sat down or when I'm comfortable is so annoying. So we have this set on a timer and we also have a set, ah, look, just on, fantabulous, absolutely love it. We also have it set on a timer for when we go to bed so that we don't have to come back down here and turn it off. You don't have to like... <laughs> you dropping your chocolate? I didn't know there was chocolate. I didn't know there was two options. Ooh. So boyfriend decided he's gonna do it coupon style, which we didn't discuss, so I didn't know that. But him says that he'll make me any dish that I want, and he might need a little bit of help with the rest. But <laughs> I will. You'll cook for me. Yep. And I got a chocolate. I like the hugs, which are the ones that are like this. Oh, don't you worry. I'm getting it out too. The striped ones. I love that. And now I'm going to put this away for a rainy day. Yeah, we need our coupon book. We need to get a little coupon folders. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning. It is currently 6.50. And I've been awake since 6 o'clock. Um, just on my phone. And obviously when you're awake... At six in the morning for no reason virtually i don't work until 11 30. need to get coffee so i am currently going to the starbucks to get coffee and typically what happens is i'll wake up early like this 
and I'll be grumpy and I'll go back to sleep. And I always regret it because I'm like, I could have just gotten up and gotten so much done. And as you guys know, with my ever growing to-do list, I should just get the fuck up. So I decided, obviously, if I'm gonna just get up, I should just get some coffee. And I need to do so mildly quickly because I'm picking the boyfriend's car because he has a remote start. So I am going to run to the Starbucks as quickly as possible so he can have his car because he is filming today, so he's out of the house. So, let's get some coffee. Welcome to Starbucks, what can we get for you? Hi, I have a pickup for Kayla. For Kayla? Yes. Alright, gotcha. Go ahead and pull around. Thank you so much. the waft of coffee pulling up there smelled so good i'm so excited let's get some shit done i am more alive okay it is 8 30 now i have edited friday's video I finished up a few swatches that I needed for next week. Last night I didn't show you, but I did swatches for this week. And now I'm gonna do a haul with you guys because I have all of this Cricut stuff and all of the shirts and stuff that I bought. So I was gonna go ahead and show you all of those things. But the first thing I wanted to show you that I bought is this, uh, uh, this tripod contraption thing. So it's two separate pieces. There is this part that holds your phone and you can screw it off and put it onto any tripod. And then there is this part that is a clamp and it has a roller ball and you can put it anywhere. This is amazing. You can literally like put this anywhere that you can clip something. So I can put it on like a door frame or my shelf like you saw and it just turns anything into a tripod pretty much. And this part I really like because you screw your phone in. It is not a spring load. I absolutely hate the fucking spring loads and like it messes with my phone case too. So I love this. It's really wide so you can fit your phone even if it has a case. So I love this. I just recently bought this and I will probably use it to show this little clip that I'm about to do. But I absolutely love this. I will have each piece and everything linked down below. I'll also put this over on my Instagram because I think a lot of people would enjoy these two pieces and it was under $20. So, like I said earlier, I have a little business that I have started which comes with needing a lot of things. So I have ordered a lot of things. I'm gonna start with this stuff over here from Amazon first. I will have everything linked below. I think I'm gonna start a, um, what do they call it? Like a Cricut list in my Amazon store. So any of the links down below will be an affiliate link, but I am gonna make some holiday ornaments for Christmas gifts. So I needed some fine glitter. I'm sure you guys have seen them. It's literally all over. It's like a clear ornament and then you dump some stuff in and you dump the glitter in to like make it glittery. So order these glitters. It is 12 glitters and they were only nine bucks. So very excited about this. I'm gonna try to make those in the next week or so. I'm gonna actually um, design them after we finish this little haul, but I got some glitter. I also needed some labels, um, like sticker sheet labels so this is just a full sheet of um like sticker paper kind of and i use these for when anyone orders i put a cute little sticker on of my logo and then i also use them for my friend adam's like bakery business so i need to make us both some stickers i also ordered these and i haven't quite decided on them yet so this is a possible return. I 
but I started making pouches. So these are just canvas pouches in black and like the natural color. And I can't decide if I love them or not. The size is pretty good. I'm just trying to decide if it's too big because the other pouch that I have is like here so it's not that much bigger but the other pouch i have is here which is what i feel like is a normal pouch size let me know if you guys would like these i have a couple different designs going right now of pouches and then my favorite part is the vinyl so i ordered this heat transfer vinyl if you don't know vinyl comes in like a couple different options but the main are heat transfer or permanent which is um like psv and the heat transfer goes on to like fabrics or like wood or canvas or something so you can put the heat transfer onto your clothing which is obviously what i do a lot and i got some glitter ones so these are from amazon and these are just glitter sheets i really like ordering this way because i don't have to order an entire roll of red glitter I don't use red glitter all that often so a lot of the brands on Amazon are really nice and they work just as well as like the Cricut brand or something so let me show you this is like a black glitter and then there's silver gold red pink so this is all iron-on vinyl and I will use this for a few different shirt ideas and things like that that I need to get made but I'm really excited to have glitter because I've never used the glitter HTV before and then this is a repurchase this is the regular HTV that I use so if you order something from my little shop it's pretty much this vinyl and I have used this before I usually go through and make sure that all of the sheets are here like the number but this one has white black it has a bunch of like neon colors so these are the colors that I use for um, like when I do my nail polish sweatshirts and all the polishes are different color. I've also used like the gold is really nice. So I need to go through both of these and make sure all of the sheets are here. And then kind of boring but the most important part is your mats. So I reordered some of the green mats which are just a regular stick. And then I ordered some of the purple mats for the glitter because the glitter um, needs like a stronger hold so that it can cut well. If you don't know anything about Cricut, we will be doing a lot of Cricut things next week. I have a ton of things that I need to be making. So next week will be a very like Cricut and kind of organization vlog. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for next week. Then my next order is from... My next order is from Heat Transfer Warehouse and this brand I've ordered from before and they just have like a bunch of varieties. It's really hard to go to the store and pick stuff up when it's like on sale or something. One, because you want to go on sale to get the savings, but then also it's really hard when um, they have a sale because everything's sold out. So I've just kind of converted to ordering online because I don't want to wait for things. So they also have sheets on there if you aren't like 100% sure on the color or if you don't have an exact idea of what you're making already. I like to order the sheets because then I don't have to commit to a whole roll and these are only like $3 I think. So I ordered three different, oh, three different gold glitters. So I have like a champagne one, a really yellow one, and then this one is actually, no, no, if you can see, this one is actually like a holographic. So I ordered three of those, and then I grabbed this regular black glitter, and then I got two of this silver confetti, which is again like a silver holographic, and then I got this really pretty pink holographic-y glitter so lots of glitters i'm so excited for the glitter and then i got a five yard roll of white and black just because i use these the most so i'm set for a minute on the white and black 
Most of the brand that I get from here is the, um, the Caesar, I don't know. Yeah, these sheets. So it's the Caesar brand, um, but they do have their own custom like printed vinyl. So I got this marble looking one and then my grandma ordered this tie dye one. So they do have their own brand, but I usually just order the Caesar brand, which is a pretty known brand. I also grabbed some of the Galaxy Black because I felt like it was really, really pretty and I would use it for a lot of things. So I got a yard, I think of this five, is this one or three? I think this is three yards. So I got three yards of the Galaxy Black. I can't remember if I ordered two or if my grandma ordered one. I can't remember. I need to look at like the little receipt thing. And then this is the holographic that goes on the black and um, black sweatshirts and t-shirts for the nail polish sweatshirts. So I just got this one. I got a bigger order of it because when I first ordered some from a different site, I just ordered a little bit because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. But I ordered that. And then these next few things are my grandma's. She ordered white glitter, red and green glitter. I think she's going to make some Christmassy things. So those are all really pretty. And then this, I'm so excited for her to use. So this is Flocked um, HTV. So flocking is like kind of like a fuzzy, like when you have those shirts and they have like a fuzzy or like a raised kind of feel. So I'm sure you can't see, but it's like a kind of like a velvety feel to it. And so they have, they offer this in HTV and I'm super excited for her to use this because I think it's going to be really pretty. And then for the ones that are printed, they don't have a top on them to like protect them from the heat because they had to print them. So you have to buy this um, stuff, it's called a mask. And I just went ahead and got a big giant one because I figured I'll be using it a lot and I can use it for a few other things too. So this is just kind of like a sheet that goes over top. Like these sheets already have it but you can see this is like matte so you just have to get some of this for their printed vinyl so i've already been talking for 10 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and do the sweatshirt thing really quick and show you guys all of that that i ordered and then i'm just gonna put this right back in these boxes and next week we're gonna try to go through and get everything organized for the business and everything that i just ordered so I have ordered in kind of like bulk from a bulk site for my shirts because I was tired of every time I have an order and it's a size that I don't really have that I would have to go to Joann's or Michael's or something and that's just kind of wasting time and money driving there and all that. So I ordered this giant box. So I ordered a lot of things and again my grandma kind of went in on this with me and ordered some of her own things. So. This first thing is so cute. This is for boyfriend's niece. Her birthday is actually today. And so I am making her a cute little sweatshirt to take to her birthday party on Saturday. So we are actually going to make this together. So that's coming in the vlog. I think this one, yeah, my grandma ordered this little like boyfriend tee. It's kind of like a looser t-shirt. This sweatshirt, these two sweatshirts are for the boyfriend. He wanted a red one and a black one. So um, we're going to make a few things for him on these crew sweatshirts. And then I got a couple things for myself. I ordered this pink shirt. I'm not entirely sure what design is going to go on it, but it's just like a regular basic tee. I can't decide what design I want to put on this yet. But I thought this might be a really cute shirt option to have for maybe like spring or something. I also ordered this navy sweatshirt for myself. And I might offer this one. I haven't decided yet. Again, it's just kind of like I have to make sure that it's going to be cost effective for you guys to purchase and also for me to make. So I want to use this and then put oh, some of this marble vinyl so like navy and marble <gasps> so excited next thing i got was this shirt this is actually for my friend i can't decide what i want to put on this yet either but i really like the color so 
that is like the personal things. We kind of got some things just to like round out shipping. And then obviously if I'm going to be making designs, I want to have them to sh like wear and show you guys. So I got some of that. Then I got just some basics. So I had to get a couple of sizes that I couldn't find at the store because they did have a really good sale at Joann's. And I couldn't find all the sizes there. So I had to get some black t-shirts and oh, some white t-shirts. I also grabbed a lot of gray ones because they didn't have hardly any gray at the store. So I grabbed some gray ones as well. And then the sweatshirts that I was talking about that the vinyl that this glittery vinyl goes on or is this so it's any of the black sweatshirts or t-shirts the vinyl goes on here so I got those in a variety of sizes and I actually need one of these for an order so I'm glad that this order came and then same thing with the white so I got like a variety of couple sizes in white I have a few downstairs I'll show you guys all that next week but I have a few downstairs for these so it's a lot going on Oh, this is also for my grandma. She just wanted a little pocket tote so she can put anything on this that she wants. And then I grabbed um, a few different styles. So I have always really liked the regular like basic Glidden boxy tee, but I know not everyone likes that. So I ordered three different styles of shirts to try out. So this is a little bit more, hopefully you can see, it's like a little bit more of a fitted kind of a women's look. The ones that I buy now are like a unisex shirt. So I grabbed a few different options of a more like fitted shirt. So we will see how these go. Um, and then that might be something that I offer as well. But again, these are more expensive than just the basic Glidden shirts. Glidden? Gildan? Gildan? These are more expensive than those, so it's just kind of going to depend on how much I can um, charge and like still make it worth it for you guys. So that's that. I ordered some tote bags, and I don't think I like them. I like the um, I like the natural ones, but I don't love the feel of these black ones and I think I might return them just because I want you guys to have like a nice bag and this does not feel nice. So I think the black might be going back. I'm not 100%. I, I kind of am. I think the black are going to go back. I don't like them. These gray ones are recycled material and so I do really like that but I just don't love the feel of them. So I might like make one for myself and then use it and see how it goes. But I don't love the feel of these either. But I have a lot of organizing to do and things to put away. And we are going to do that next week because like, frankly, I just really don't have the time right now. I need to get designing things because as long as I have them designed when I sit down to have like my Cricut day, then I can just go in and make everything, but it's really hard to design and Cricut in the same day. So the next thing that I'm going to do is put all of this away, but I'm also going to like go and look and make sure that there's no spots on anything and that there's not any like holes in any of the materials because I don't want um, to obviously give you guys something that is defective and you can send back returns with this. So I'm just going to continue, like, there's a random piece of fabric in there. I'm going to continue to kind of go through this stuff and make sure that everything looks okay. And then we will design some ornaments. I'll show you how I do that. So these are the ornaments that I'm going to be working with. I have a large and like a medium-ish one. I need to measure how big they're going to be. So it looks like the max that I can make the design can you see me the max that i can make the design is about three inches because i don't want it to be too big and then for the width i would say like two and a half so a three by two and a half for the small one which is what i'm going to be using most of the time i have this big one that's going to be like um 
another design I don't want to say these are Christmas presents and I'm not sure who is watching but the first one that I'm gonna continue designing I've already started and this is actually gonna be for my hair lady but I'm just gonna go and make this um, make this little thing as big as I want. Okay, so this is Cricut Design Space if you've never seen it. And you can do a ton of things in here. I don't, I'm not going to go into like a whole tutorial. Maybe I'll show you guys more um, next week. But for right now, I'm just going to go through and make some ornaments and design some things out for little Christmas presents. So I hope you guys enjoy a little time lapse of that. Hello, it's Friday night. I just got out of a quick shower. I haven't done anything all day, so I didn't vlog, but we are getting ready to make the shirt that I showed you guys yesterday. Yes, yesterday for um, the boyfriend's and niece's birthday. So I wanted to show you that. We're gonna make a little Cricut project. And then for dinner, we are gonna do like a good Mythical Morning Pizza brand taste test. So that will be here in just a second if you guys are interested in that. But I thought I would take you along and make a shirt with you. It's gonna be a birthday, so I have a little birthday bag. And then we are gonna use this gray kids sweatshirt. And I have black and pink glitter vinyl. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of an in-depth kind of tutorial with what I'm making tonight. And then next week in the vlog, you'll see me making a bunch of different Cricut projects and you'll know a little bit more about what the hell I'm talking about. But yes, let's make a little sweatshirt present. Normally I get out like my big table, which I will do Sunday, but for today, since we're just doing one little project, I don't know how to use this. Since we're just doing one project, I'm just going to pull out everything that I need and I'll just use my nail table that I normally do nail things on. But I'm using boyfriend's iPad because usually I use my laptop, but the iPad has a little bit more features because Cricut favors you Apple users. I'm not an Apple user, so I'm going to use this. So this is what we are going to make. It says mini boss. The mini and boss are going to be in glitter and the black line will just be in regular vinyl. So on Cricut, you have, I don't know how to show you guys this. On Cricut, you have like your little design space and you can pick any kind of fonts and images and make all kinds of things. But I've already designed this. All I need to do is just size it to the shirt that I have. Anytime you do a heat project, you have to like protect your surface. So this is just a little like heat pad. I don't know. And then you just put your project over it. And there's a bunch of like, um, templates and stuff you can do but I usually kind of go off of that and then just measure my shirt so I mean the widest I would probably want the whole image is like seven inches so I'm just gonna click on 
I'm going to select everything and like group it together so I can make it all one thing and then it tells you how big it is. So seven inches would make it five inches tall. I think that's pretty good. Five inches tall and for kids shirts you usually put like an inch or so down from the top and then another five inches would put the bottom right here. I think that's pretty good. An easy way to kind of like keep your work a little bit easier is to do all of your colors on one mat. So um, I'm going to make everything one color. Maybe. I don't know how to use this. I'm going to make everything one color. This is all on one sheet now. And what I'm going to do is just cut my vinyl to fit each color so the pink is going to cut from like the nine inch mark to the six inch mark so i'm just going to place my pink there and i'll place the black and then i'll place the black glitter i'll show you the mat here in a second so that you can see what i'm talking about but it's just easier to do it this way than putting every color on its own mat and waiting for it all to cut and like reload so i am just gonna cut out some of this glitter and put it all onto this one mat so for um, heat transfer vinyl, you put it down upside down because you're going to cut the back and then flip it over and put it onto the shirt and then you'll remove this like top piece. But I'm just going to place all of the vinyl on here. And then so on your little mat, it will say mirror off and you're just going to click it. I don't know how. I figured out the stamp app. I hate it. But over here, oh, it's like, oh, no, it's not going to let me do it. This is where you change to mirror. So now we're mirroring. Then we're going to click glitter iron on because that's what we're doing. Make sure the mirror is turned on. It is. And then I'm going to change the pressure to more. Oh, it is. Okay. More, more, more. Okay. Then there's going to be blinky buttons. That's the instructions when the boys help me. I tell them to click the blinky buttons. And then... It's going to cut all on this one mat so that I don't have to keep loading mats. And then it will be done. It's done. You just pull it out. And then you just want to look at your design. I know it's probably really hard to see because I can barely see it. But you just want to look at your design and make sure that you can see that it didn't cut off anywhere. And that everything looks good. And it does. But... It is time for pizza. So we are gonna leave this here for now and go eat pizza. Oh my gosh. Okay, so most nights we watch Good Mythical Morning and they always are doing these taste tests with the brands. And those are my favorites because I need to know what place has the best things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not the most expensive things. So we're gonna do a pizza taste test. There will be one of these kind of segments in each vlog. And the first one is gonna be pizza. So we have four different pizzas. We have. I have to keep remembering. <laughs> Jack's. Jack's. Four we cheese. don't have a teleprompter and a, a team and a set like Good Mythical <laughs> Morning, so we're gonna have to remember things. So this is Jack's, like, just their traditional cheese, I think. We did all cheese, cheese pizza. Yeah, this is a cheese. And then this one is uh, great value, but this is a four cheese. Mm hmm. And I have the California Pizza Kitchen, Never. which is also a four cheese. Yep. And then the Smiling Celian, which is also a four cheese. Yeah. I think so. Yes. And, so. Then, and then also, so Jax is two fifty. Mm -hmm. So this one is the cheapest. And then two seventy eight. And that's the Walmart one. Yep. California Pizza Kitchen. It depends. Sometimes it like on sale for five ish but I, we both seen it at like seven, almost eight seven or eight dollars about and then but. the smiling sicilian is nine bucks so we're trying to figure out which one is the best and we have both decided that we think it's going to be the california pizza kitchen mm -hmm. is going to be our choice we're going to reveal our choices at the end are we ready I, yeah can i say um, something well, I always grew up eating Jack's. 
I did too, and Tombstone. I couldn't find Tombstone. They were sold out everywhere. So I always ate doing Jack's. I also ate at 3, and it's 10 p.m., so I'm trying to make sure that my hunger doesn't overtake what you actually like. What I actually like. So I'm going to actually try to kind of like wine, like eat it. I know. And like, no, see if it tastes good or not. I'm actually okay. just really excited to eat all of these pizza options. We've never done anything. No. <laughs> like no. baked uh, four different pizzas. But I mean, if you think about it, it's it like so nine at most, let's say seven. Nine, seven, and then three. Three. So 10 and then 19, 20, two bucks. I mean, For a dinner? Yeah. All right, are we ready? Great value. Great you cut value. them into the cutest little bit so we don't eat 18 pieces of pizza. I don't hate it. Oh, this is Jack's. This is Jack's. Sorry. This is Jack's. My, um, my first thought is it could be crispier. Mm. I don't know if that's due to just where we were cooking it on. Mm. Um, we made all the pizzas on a stone and we didn't do anything to them. Like We, did, we usually put like some spices or some... Something, but yeah. we just wanted to taste them regular. I don't like pizza. I'm like Brett. I would say the cheese isn't impressive. Mm -mm. Like, like you're not getting the goat. I do kind of like the sauce though. It's a little sweet. Mm. I don't know. No, I mean, I, it's not bad. I'm just like commenting and kind of like figuring out what I. I would say that's a good frozen pizza. I would eat that. And I kind of like the little end bit crust. I don't appreciate the crust. Unless I'm dipping them. Yeah, until I get to take them. <laughs> oh my gosh, alright. I'm ready. You're I want ready? This one. I'm going in. Okay. That's great value, right? You're gonna like the crust better on this one, I think. This doesn't really have as much flavor. She might actually be more crispy, I think, than this one. That's what I'm saying. You're going to like the crust on this one better. It's crispier, but I don't like the flavor. Really? Mm-hmm. I like that one better. This one? Surprisingly, I actually like this you one You like better. this one better? Yeah. Ugh! It tastes like, like flour. It tastes like dough. I'm be, but I think it's because I feel like I'm getting more cheese than I did out of this one. Mm -hmm. This one I felt like I was getting the sauce. Mm hmm Which you do like sauce, so. Mm, I don't like that one. This one's not my favorite. Out of the two. I like it being more crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and the other thing is all the three of these are considered thin, and that one they said it was like a medium, mm. medium or something. We do appreciate the thin crust. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that one. That one's not my favorite. All right. Dang, going right for it. I'm hungry. I I told you I'm I'm um wet. Well, if you do, this is two slices. This one smells good. Altogether, this is two slices. If you eat. Yeah, cause they're baby. Look how baby. Little baby. This one smells good. So regular, and now we're getting into four cheese. Four cheeses, and I will say this one looks the best to me. Out of all of them, yeah. Oh. A lot of crust. It does feel like a lot of crust. I would say. Oh, that. I feel like I'm chewing right now. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with it. I don't like it. I'm getting like no sauce. Oh, I take there's no sauce on here. You can see. Well, too, the reason I thought I would have liked it is because I've had their like they have like a barbecue one. Mm -hmm. It's good. They've had like oh, a, like a mushroom. Is it a mushroom like it? There's like a mushroom one, and then there's know. like a there's like a margarita one that's really good. It's got mm -hmm. like other mm -hmm. stuff on it. Yeah, this for as a cheese pizza though, as a consider this is not that good. All I taste is bread. This is just like no sauce and it is crispy. Yeah. So far. I like the jacks. This is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Alright. I like the jacks. This is great for my 
my grocery budget. All right, I need, now to, these show, you need to show the thickness of Are giant. So, <laughs> yeah, these have a lot going on, a lot of cheese. The, um, this pizza had like the big, like, cut some mozzarella, mozzarella on top. Yeah. <laughs> I still want it. <laughs> what? I still like the jack. I'm gonna say I actually really like this one so far the most. Really? Uh huh. Because it's really on the edge of being thin still. It's crispy still. And you like, after getting disappointing no sauce. Yeah. Then I'm getting some actual sauce and cheese. I can't believe that was like nothing. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like a cheese, but if you have like the one with toppings, it's a little bit better. Oh, that last bite was really good. All right. So I know I like this one. We both can kind of say this one. We'll just this is one. not it. That one's not it. Mm, but um, you have. Do you have three or two? I have three. I have two only. I did not like this one. I'll retry. Well, should we retry? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. You want to start like, there? Yeah. Okay. I want to start with the one I didn't have last. Alright. It was like a good amount of sauce. But what do you like about it though? Like just the sauce? I like the sauce. I feel like I get flavor and a little bit of crunch. I think too maybe it's leaning me to these because they do have a little bit more sauce. Mm-hmm. I can't believe that we don't like California pizza. Well, heard, that's why we're doing it. Okay. Be wrong. Earlier today, we were talking about this, and we decided California Pizza Kitchen because we both had it and we figured it's pretty good. Then we were talking about when you're eating pizza, you don't normally make four different brands of frozen pizza at the same time, mm -hmm. so you don't compare them. You're like, that's a good pizza. I'm just making frozen pizza. Yeah. But now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, damn, that's a butt frozen pizza. It tastes like nothing. Yeah. Compared to all these others. <laughs> I'd be interested to see, too, the um, private selection of Kroger. Mm hmm and whatever the great value one is, because I think there is like a. This is the great value. No, but I meant like. Oh, like this. Like there's private up. selection in Kroger, and then there's like Kroger Pizza. Kroger brand. Yeah, and then private selection is like they're like select better stuff. Yeah. I wonder if Walmart has the same thing. That wasn't as impressive the second time, but I can't decide if it's just because it's not warm. Well, let's try. This one's better second round. Even not being warm. See, that's the thing is it's so thin. Uh-huh. Especially with that one, too. It's so thin, I think, that it loses its heat. Mm hmm So unless it's, like, on the stone or super hot. But these got a little... You can probably see they got a little toasty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this, but... Mm. I will say, though, second time around, I do like it better still than that. But the crust is like, like rubbery, I guess I would say. This? Yeah. I like this crispy crust. Like I got a rubbery bit. I appreciate this crispy crust. I still feel like the I could, flavor on this one and the crust is better. Okay, I can push this one away. I can be okay with pushing this one you away. You think? Yeah. Why? What's better on this one? <clears throat> I know I said it wouldn't, but it's like the nostalgia portion of it, but also... <laughs> It is good. Like it's not the bad. crust is good. I so love I'm gonna the grab, crust. I'm gonna grab and two more so okay. that we can compare the last two. And when I'm thinking about if we did um, alter them, then if you're dipping that into like a sauce, then that would be really good. You know, even yeah, without it having that's the other sauce. factors. That if you don't have a sauce, if you don't have a sauce, or even a seasoning, like, cause you like some like throw some season. salt or pepper. All right. Okay, so we currently have what is this? Jacks yep. and the smiling Cecilian. Cecilian. So we have the lowest and the highest. Yeah. So those Literally. middle butts don't mean nothing. Yeah. 
apparently. The great value, I will say, was like by far third. Like the California yeah. Pizza Kitchen was like yeah. instantly not good. Yeah, the California Kitchen. And I don't know if it's just the cheese flavor. It could just be the cheese. Well, we went through all the pieces of <laughs> the great value. Mm -hmm. And the, the California Kitchen still has two sitting Still has there. two. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, you choose the one you want. Because that piece has a huge piece of mozzarella on it. This one? I yeah, this one. this one. Oh, well, no. Just tear it. Just put it on. Get that. Get your bit. <laughs> I don't want Why it. can't you touch it? Because I don't want messy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like it's just too much cheese. Mm, I don't know. I like I the really crunch. don't love the, the giant mozzarella bit. I just don't think there's a, it's that it's that much better than the Jacks though. Well, I'm getting a lot more flavor. Like I'm getting cheese more. No. Yeah. Like I get the flavor of cheese more. There's a shit ton of cheese. And I'm getting more sauce, which I wanted. After it sits for a while, it's not as good. That's what I'm saying. That still was sitting. I know. Hmm. I mean, look, all my cheese got pulled off. And there's like barely any sauce. Hmm. I think my vote, I'm gonna be bougie, and I really do think that that's pretty good. Now, I have heard people say they don't like the variations of the meat ones. Hmm. Why? Um, so the, legitimately, there was like, I think there was something on Reddit that was like, they changed some recipe and people were super you mad at it. <laughs> so. Um, Okay. okay, here's my consensus. We don't have pedestals either. They always set stuff on pedestals. Maybe next episode we can get <laughs> we our shit get, together a little, little bit better. Pedestal. We will have an assistant. My sister will be making an appearance. Okay, if you can eat the jacks immediately, I highly recommend. For two fifty, mm -hmm. if you can eat that immediately, I highly recommend. I will say, if we had Tombstone, I greatly appreciate Tombstone. I wish we would have been able to find them. But ultimately, I think this one was just better. Yeah. The $9 frozen pizza. So California Kitchen didn't cut it at all. At all. Like in any way. I didn't like the crust, there was no sauce, and mm -hmm. I didn't taste the cheese. Yeah, it was just like flat. Mm hmm. I really did like the. The great value the was great not value bad. For it me, had a lot of sauce. The great value for me fought it with the Jacks. Like I would have, could have chose that, but then Jacks still has a little, <laughs> little piss in my you heart. Love it. <laughs> and I didn't eat Jacks like growing up. Like I said, we had Tombstone, but I still feel like I don't know. I just had a little, a little something good. Yeah. Over the great value, only when it's fresh, fresh frozen pizza. Fresh frozen pizza. <laughs> yeah. This was good though. I will say Great Value did great. Great Value I mean, was good. I mean, for the cost. Yeah, for three bucks, two, that's a good pizza. 275 or eight, yeah, three bucks, that's a good pizza. That's a good one. I'm very disappointed in the damn California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. That shit was not cheap. Like, it was like five to seven, depending on if it's on sale. And by the way, we didn't make like four we didn't full make pizzas. Four pizzas. We, we cut them cut in them half. half. And we and like the refroze back. the other. No, so. just being completely wasteful to post a vlogmas yeah. segment. Yeah. So but, we had two meals at it. Yes. Or several. So. Yes. But yeah, I think it's the. Oh, will you get the box? Can we show? Yeah. On top of it being a nine dollar delicious frozen pizza, it's a really <laughs> cute packaging. Since nail people are all about packaging. Should I show it up front? Mm -hmm. That's me. So there's that. That's the back. It's got a little mustache. And then on the front, he's just a, he's screaming. a screaming Sicilian. Yeah, the fit, my thing is the... Oh my gosh, I did not know that. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, look. If you had told me at that, that at the beginning, it would have swayed my, my vote. So, yeah, and you can take the mustache out, out and you can put I it in. I need to do it because you already have a mustache. You got to put it in your nose. I know. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. If you would have told me that at the beginning, that would got points. It's a brilliant idea. That is adorable. It's a brilliant idea. 
and like fits up in your room. Especially for like little kids and stuff. Think how much a little kid would have fun with that. My brother. <laughs> Be like having a pizza and have this that. This is adorable. <laughs> Damn, we like a spicy pizza. But okay, still though, it's five dollars a person if you split a pizza. Yeah. Five bucks for a dinner. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. You see this wonderful on Cricut they have a heat guide so you can select what material you are using we are using glitter is that the only option no we are using we'll just do that glitter and then our base material is what? 64% cotton, 40% polyester, cotton poly blend. We do have a mat. We don't have a towel. It's not the Cricut mat because don't buy that shit. It's expensive. This was just an Amazon mat and it works wonderful. And then it will tell you what to set it at and how much time. And it will tell you that you can cold peel it. And then up here you can um, preheat the material and I will show you that. Oh. <laughs> Magnetic. Magnetic. <laughs> so, oh, this is a heat press. I had an iron for a hot minute, and I'm going to tell you that this is worth every freaking penny. I think I spent like 180 on this, and it came with like a little tool set, but it is fantastic. It's so much easier to use than a regular iron, but you just turn it on to preheat, and we need the temperature at 3.30 and we need the time at 30 seconds. So it's gonna preheat and then we will preheat the material. One inch below the neckline. You can find all of these, um, what are these called, guides online somewhere and it will just tell you like where to place them and how big to make the designs. Um, I feel like this only goes up, so I'm going to place hers one and a half inch below the neckline, but it says right here seven inches, which is what we printed, so that's great. This is almost preheated. So, I am going to mark the center just by lining everything up. And then making a little crease. So there is the center of the shirt. And then I'm just going to do a preheat, which is where that setting said you should preheat it for five seconds. And you can still see this little center line. And I'm going to fold my design in half to get like the middle and I'm just matching up like the two not sticky sides and then I'm going to do one and a half inch from the top so it'll be about here and then I try to make sure that it's straight I'm really bad at that. This is a Teflon sheet, and you can also use parchment paper, which is what I usually use, but this came with some glitter that I got, so I'm just going to use that. 
and then you're gonna put this on press the button and do a light pressure I do a light pressure on all of them and then it will do a timer this is a nine by nine so it's big enough for our design but if you get a heat press that's this size you can just do like half at a time if your design is too big and you just hold it on here this is a lifesaver I love this stupid thing because it heats up evenly when I was using the iron I burnt t-shirts so this is well worth the money And there it is, a finished birthday present. I absolutely love it. This glitter isn't like scratchy either, which I really like. And I like mixing the colors. I'm gonna end this vlog because it's getting really long, but I'm gonna start the next one right up so that for next Sunday you guys can see it. The first thing we're gonna do is tackle all of this. All of the sweatshirts and shirts and everything need to be put into my little section. So. Check out next week's vlog if you are interested in that. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. Let me know if it was interesting. I'll have to see how everything comes together. This first week was kind of just like getting a bunch of stuff. And then the next week is going to be putting stuff away, making crafts, making orders, um, and just stuff like that. I'm going to do some baking. A lot of you guys wanted to see me bake, and I don't bake. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching.